I think just the biggest thing is, you know, it's really, really special, and I don't think it's gonna set in for me for quite some time. You can always tell when it's a home game day for the Fever because downtown Indy gets flooded with the number 22. The player of the year, number 22, Caitlin Clark. The official announcement has not been made by USA Basketball, so it'd be premature for me to have any conversations about any player or anything. Hey, LeBron, you are 100% right on these girls hating on Caitlin Clark. Y'all petty girls. <laughs> I expect men to be petty because we're the most insecure group in the world. Indiana is not a team that's hung their hat on their defense to this point. Caitlin Clark! Yeah, I ask all the tough questions. More than 20,000 fans at T-Mobile Arena on Tuesday. Most of them were Iowa Hawkeye or Indiana Fever fans. John R. Wooden Women's Player of the Year Award presented by Principal given by the Los Angeles Athletic Club, and this year's award goes to, I know you're going to be shocked by this, Iowa's Caitlin Clark for her record-breaking season. She broke the all-time D1 scoring record, set a new three-point record, came within one win of Iowa's first championship, and then some, and then some, and then some, and we are so excited. Oh, well, you came from Canada to... Saskatchewan, Canada. <laughs> That's a long walk. We drove 23 hours. Whoa, hold on a second, 2C, I'm gonna guess, let me guess. Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark. Coach Cheryl Reeve, the leading figure for both the Minnesota Lynx and Team USA, recently dismissed inquiries from reporters regarding Caitlin Clark. This incident occurred immediately after Clark, an impressive rookie with the Indiana Fever, led her team to an unexpected victory over Reeve's Lynx. The situation has ignited further speculation among fans who are eager to understand why Reeve refrained from commenting on Clark, a player who has been making significant waves in the league all season. This latest win is yet another achievement for Clark, and now curiosity abounds regarding the underlying reasons for Reeve's silence. From the onset, Clark exhibited an intense determination. Each time she handled the ball, it electrified the audience. By the final quarter, it was as if she had entered a zone of heightened focus. Clark executed crucial shots, assisted her teammates, and performed admirably in all aspects expected of a player of her caliber. Her statistical performance was remarkable, showcasing points, assists, rebounds, and more. It's no surprise she's regarded as one of the premier players in the league currently. This performance sends a clear message to Reeve, reminding her of the talent she overlooked for Team USA. This game served as a highly visible form of retribution for all to witness. The Minnesota Lynx, typically renowned for their strong defense, appeared to lose their strategic edge last night. Clark effortlessly maneuvered past them, and the Lynx's offense struggled to convert shots. They seemed out of sync, missing opportunities they would normally capitalize on. The tension on the court was palpable as the game slipped away in the fourth quarter. Despite holding a reasonable lead in the final minutes, Indiana's timely three-pointers shifted the momentum. The Lynx were unable to respond effectively, and their performance unraveled. It was a harsh night for Minnesota, with little going in their favor. Clark appeared visibly anxious, her hands shaking noticeably. It was as though she had missed a meal, her energy seemingly low. Meanwhile, the crowd added another dimension to the evening. Despite being away from home, Clark had a considerable number of supporters who cheered enthusiastically for her every move. The crowd's energy was so intense that it felt like the roof might lift off. This level of support undoubtedly fueled Clark's performance, providing her with a significant boost. The Minnesota audience, filled with nervous anticipation, cheered loudly as the Lynx contended point for point. Even the most dedicated Lynx fans, initially decked out in team colors, couldn't help but acknowledge Clark's exceptional display. By the end of the game, she had earned the respect of the entire arena. When Clark faced the post-game press conference, the atmosphere turned solemn. Her usual confident demeanor was replaced by a serious expression, indicating the heavy toll of the loss. As she searched for words, it was evident that this defeat had deeply affected her, with her disappointment clearly palpable. In stark contrast to her usual confident demeanor, Coach Cheryl Reeve displayed a notably reserved attitude during the post-game media session. When questioned about Caitlin Clark, Reeve's responses were brief and somewhat evasive, as if she intentionally avoided giving Clark's performance any additional attention. Instead of acknowledging Clark's impressive play, Reeve redirected the conversation to her own team's shortcomings, highlighting their defensive errors and offensive struggles. 
The avoidance of discussing Clark only underscored the sting of the defeat. Reeves' confidence seemed to wane the loss affected her personally as well as professionally. The once assertive Reeve now had slumped shoulders, a muted voice, and a noticeable nervous twitch in her hand, as though the defeat had pulled the rug out from under her. Reeve may be reconsidering her pre-game comments, which, intended to motivate, may have backfired. In the heat of the moment, her words carry significant weight, especially as the head coach of Team USA. By downplaying Caitlin Clark's stellar performance, Reeve has prompted questions about her perspective on emerging talent. As Team USA's coach, Reeve is tasked with identifying and nurturing future stars, a role that requires impartiality. This situation raises concerns about her ability to balance her responsibilities with the Lynx and the national team. A coach at her level must recognize and develop new talent, even if it means her team suffers a defeat. It's part of the broader vision. Clark's sensational rookie season in the WNBA, highlighted by her outstanding performance at the All-Star Game, only intensifies the scrutiny. This follows a series of perplexing decisions regarding the national team, leaving fans and Reeve herself searching for answers. Clark's exclusion from the Team USA roster adds fuel to the fire of her remarkable debut season. Her latest game showcased not only her scoring ability but also her strategic acumen, which disrupts opponents' game plans. The league is undeniably experiencing the Clark effect, and it's evident she's here to stay. Far from exhibiting rookie nerves, Clark's impact is profound. She's not merely accumulating points, she's transforming the game, compelling teams to rethink their strategies. This is the hallmark of a true star, and Clark is shining brilliantly. Caitlin Clark isn't just a high scorer, she's a crowd magnet, boosting attendance and television viewership. Every game she plays is a performance, drawing fans eager to watch. Her recent game against the Lynx is a testament to her growing influence and the excitement she brings to the WNBA. The atmosphere was electrifying. Every dribble, every shot was met with thunderous applause from the crowd. It's evident that Caitlin Clark's star is on the rise, and the WNBA is astutely leveraging her growing popularity. Her gameplay is attracting new fans, many of whom may not have followed the league before but are now captivated by the buzz surrounding Clark. She represents exactly what the WNBA needs to enhance its visibility. Buzz is rapidly building around Indiana's Caitlin Clark. Her teammates are effusive in their praise, lauding her skill and relentless work ethic. Even opponents acknowledge that she is a formidable matchup, a player they dread competing against. Opposing coaches are also taking note. Some speculate that her dominance might be unsettling coaches like Cheryl Reeve, who seems reluctant to discuss her. It's a classic example of competitive intensity. When competition heats up, maintaining cool objectivity can be challenging. Clark's performances have sent shockwaves through social media. It's not just a field day, it's a full-on celebration of her achievements. On platforms like Twitter and Instagram, fans are enthusiastically sharing clips of her game-changing plays and showering her with praise. Many fans are criticizing Reeve for not recognizing Clark's brilliance, labeling her a poor sport. This online fervor demonstrates that Clark has amassed a dedicated fan base ready to support her and celebrate her successes. Beyond her fan base, sports commentators are also discussing her impact. They see the fan excitement as an indicator that Clark is a rising star in the league, one who can no longer be ignored. The recent incident involving Reeve and Clark has generated significant discussion within the WNBA. Analysts are examining its implications for the league. Some argue that it highlights a flaw in how the WNBA develops young talent, suggesting the league needs to do a better job of showcasing rising stars to build a larger fan base and gain more recognition. Others point to Clark's ability to evoke strong emotions, both admiration and criticism as evidence of her potential as a marketing powerhouse. They believe she has the makings of a central figure in the WNBA's future. This moment represents a golden opportunity for the WNBA to redefine how it connects with fans and attracts young supporters. Imagine a new wave of enthusiasts rallying behind these incredible athletes. What are your thoughts? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next time.